everyone, I'm Ali, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. This video is also a supplement to our blog post, so if you haven't checked that out, the two really go hand in hand. So with this STEM series, we are focusing on discovering math in nature, and we have an amazing kit that makes it really easy and hands-on to do that. STEM is a series of curriculum revolving around the idea that rather than seeing science, technology, engineering, and math, in four separate quadrants. We combine them, we incorporate them, and we focus on solutions with our students. So basically, there's a lot of ways to incorporate math in nature. Now, I know for me, teaching math can sometimes feel intimidating, and patterns are such a great way to start recognizing math in nature. And these patterns are everywhere. So Leonardo de Pisa is a 13th century mathematician, and he's credited for finding this sequence. However, he's not the first, there were many mathematicians before him, if not at the same time, uh, who were also working on this pattern. He did publish a book on it in the 13th century, hence why he gets most of the credit. And he kept seeing all these patterns popping up in nature, particularly a certain spiral. You can see this spiral in seashells, in certain flower petal arrangements. You can even see it in the shape of a hurricane. So what is the Fibonacci sequence? Basically, for the Fibonacci sequence, we start with the numbers 0 and 1 and add their sum. So 0 plus 1 equals 1. And then to get any other number in the sequence, you take the sum of the previous two numbers. So if we're starting with 0 and 1, and that equals 1, then we know for our next number in the sequence, it will be 1 plus 1, which equals 2. And our next number will be 2 plus 1 equals 3. And then we get 3 plus 2 equals 5. 5 plus 3 equals 8. So now that you know about the Fibonacci sequence, you are ready for how to use math in nature, our Fibonacci numbers discovery kit. Mm -hmm. 